What is up everybody? It is me, Chul, and I'm back with another video. I got the same clothes on, girls. So I'm gonna do all these videos before I go to work, okay? So first I wanna go ahead and say thanks to everybody who recently commented, like, subscribe, and whoever clicked on this video. Thank you, bing, bing, bing. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Today I want to talk about my reading of book number seven in Sarah Paresky's V.I. Warsarski Parboil Private Investigator Female Detective Series. Guardian Angel. Now, as you guys know, I have a love-hate relationship with the series, child. I think the third book in the series is probably the most outstanding one to me. And ever since then, they've all been lukewarm. Um, the one previous to this, book number six, which was called uh, Burn Marks, I did not like. But you can see my previous videos as it regards me picking up Guardian Angel. And I just want to make this clear. I am not giving up on this series. I know that there's some good in it. I just got to find a connection. And I know precisely why I do struggle with this series. And that reason I will explain in this video. But I just want to go ahead and say that at this point, after reading Guardian Angel, I do, or I, well, I am excited about going into the next book because I found this book to be a little bit more pleasant than some of the previous ones. Anyway, V.I. Rosarski is a private, female private investigator based out of Chicago. Um, with that being said, this book contains an A story and a B story. Both of the two do tie in together. The A story, as it regards murder, involves a VI's uh, neighbor, Mr. Contreras, I believe his name is, who invites a friend into his house. The friend was a co-worker of his. And, you know, he's down on his luck to back against the wind. And he's pretty much um, couch, what's his, couch surfing with sofa sleeping something over, over Mr. Contreras' house. But the point is that the friend is trying to um, get his pension back together from the previous, from the job that they once shared. And he ends up running across a very crooked and maniacal plan involving that company. Um, that, of course, leads to his murder, and then Mr. Contreras decides to, you know, get B.I., his neighbor and private investigator, involved to solve exactly what happened. And then the B story is what is precisely what kept me reading the book. Um, I think you can consider this sort of like the human interest factor, but it involves another neighbor of V.I. Wasarski. Uh, I believe her name was Mrs. Fatelli? I, I forgot her name. Is it Fatelli? Anyway, this story also involves a neighbor of the eyes. Um, it is an older, kind of cankerous, maybe crony, uh, spinster. No, she has a child, but anyway, it, it involves an older uh, lady, cranky old lady, who has a house on one of the corners in her neighbor's neighborhood. Um, this lady, she has junk all in her yard, and she keeps a plethora of dogs. Um, the city is often called to her location, I believe, and the point is that her neighbors, particularly a, a lawyer and his wife, um, they want that woman out of the neighborhood. Unfortunately for the neighbor, she does end up coming out of the bathtub one day and slipping and falling. No one hears from her for quite a while. And then, of course, you know, as events occur, VI and some of her neighbors and, pal and the neighbor's pals, they come in, they find the lady, and she's taken to the hospital. And then they come together to, you know, maintain the whole situation with her pets and her dogs. Now, this is where the problem comes in. The neighbor who is the attorney, he ends up getting guardianship over the woman. And he ends up taking her dogs and having them all put to sleep. And that's when V.I. steps forward and puts her foot into his ass to figure out exactly what is it that he is trying to get in this whole scheme that he's put together. Like I said, that was the story that kept me reading the most because, I, like I said, it's the human interest piece in this whole matter. But, ultimately, the book reads just like all the other books in the series. Um, one of the things that I've always complained about is that I feel like these books are, they're convoluted, uh, white-collar crime caper novels. Um, with that being said, the male... The main characters in the book, whether they are CEOs, mobsters, uh, goons, or, you know, vice presidents of companies and CEOs, whatever, they all read the same. Uh, they're all misogynistic. They all have the tendency to call V.I. girly and, you know, do a lot of referencing to the fact that she's a female private investigator. I, it's so old. I get so tired of it. It's nonsensical at this point. And um, that is very much present here. And the books do have a formula to them where, you know, the underlying uh, th 
threat involves, like I said, some white-collar crime aspect that goes on. I can't give the details here. The details involves pensions and insurance fraud and that sort of thing. It's, it's very common in this series. But the formula is always the same. That is the upset. And then at some point, V.I. is either fighting for her life. One At one book, she was thrown into a trash can and thrown by the river. In this particular book, she breaks into one of the facilities and is accosted and then almost ran off the road. But she jumps into a canal to save herself. And um, she gets into fights with her neighbors a lot. And she ends up having sex at one point in the book. They all kind of read the same, to be honest with you. But um, I'm warming up to B.I. And this book, with the whole dog situation story, is what really kept me reading. Because I love the fact that B.I. was so determined to seek justice for this lady. No matter what her reputation was within the neighborhood. So, I'm excited to read more. I know I kind of say that with a little wince. But, um, I don't know. I, I just have a strong inclination that... I feel like I really am going to find something amazing with this series if I keep reading it. And I feel like the, the stories or the books that are the best ones or the better ones are the ones that are closer, closely linked to VI. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and try to get into the next one. And even if you feel like I haven't gave you enough details, trust me when I say what I just told you about the convoluted uh, white-collar crime criminal capers and the river scenes and you know and all that stuff trust me honey trust me that that is all you need to know okay i mean of course there's some details in between but believe me if you read the first six books then you're pretty much reading the same book in the seventh book it's, it's just a different context okay it's just a different avenue in which we are given these clues and these points in this story but um uh i'm gonna try to stop complaining about this series because like i said i do plan on reading the, all the books like it, this book kind of reinvigorated some of my feelings for the story and for B.I. as a character so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and leave and if you are a fan of the series then please drop me a comment down below I would love to connect with people who actually read the series because I want to know you know what is it that I'm missing you know I, I need to talk to people who understand the series a lot better than me but um with that being said I'm going to leave have a good one peace is this bunny kisses? I don't know what that is, girl.